Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and welcome to another new section. So we have learned quite a lot, in fact uh, a whole lot about the JavaScript and now it's time that we keep on practicing the stuff. And uh, I am not sure how many more projects I'll be adding or maybe team will give you some of the projects as without video, just the PDF part or maybe just the code files. I'm not pretty sure about that but right now what we can focus here is we're going to finish up this game and I would like to mention two things forehand. Uh, there are a couple of issues in this game which we are not going to be covering. It's going to be fully playable, but uh, definitely there are some of the cases that we are not covering. So to keep things simpler, so just watch out for that. And second thing is I'm going to give you an assignment. I will be writing some of the code in old style, means not the ES6 way, arrow functions and some stuff missing. So I will give you an assignment of rewriting this entire application using everything modern like arrow functions, different style of declaring the variables and a whole bunch of other things. So it's going to be really fun. Now let's understand what we got in front of us. So first and foremost, the attachment is in the download. So just look for the resources or attachment, download the exercise file, which will give you this exact uh, boilerplate code that you have. It has index.html, uh, some of the index.js files as well, and some of the styles.css as well uh, that we got up here. Uh, you don't need to touch the style or the index HTML. We will be writing everything inside this JS file, which is totally empty. Apart from that, I have got few of the smileys already designed for you for this particular way. And uh, I have got different names for them like cool face and stuff like that. So <laughs> this is what we got. So now, notice here, this is how our memory game is going to look like. And what happens is right now you can see there are two ways of defining the faces here. The first is all the logos means everything is hidden behind this image. And this is how when you click on anything is going to look like this. So the game is really simple. The images or this uh, emo emoticons or emojis, these are hidden behind. And as soon as you can find the same two at the places, then you will be able to all do it. The emojis also change their place. So right now you are seeing this up here. It's going to be there on next time here and probably here. So there are two pairs of each one of them. Now notice here, let's go ahead and look at some of the code so that we can understand it better and how we can actually uh, do this. It's not really a very tough game, it's easier, but we need to understand what's happening already. If I go and look on the index.html, notice here uh, from uh, remove or just ignore all of these part top, here is the important part. So this is the div and notice here, this div is exactly same as this div as well. And both of them are exactly same. So we are using an evil face. So the next one is also evil face. Every div is going to have two images. First one is the evil face and the second one is the logo. Now since the logo is at the top, uh, most of the time this is going to be what is going to be visible. And once anybody clicks on that, then we want to reveal this image. So same happens here in the second div as well. Right now it says lco.png, but we want to have a on list we want to have a listener which listens for a click event and then it reveals this image instead of this image. So that can be done pretty easily. Now notice here a couple of things which are uh, fairly new if you haven't yet studied about HTML and CSS part. First, we are using a data image. Now this is an attribute. It doesn't do much by default, but when we come to JavaScript part, it's going to be super helpful for us. And every single data image is uh, notifying with this emoji image exactly same. Not the PNG part, but exactly same as what we got. Now also another thing that you should notice here, right now the card says just the class of card. When you say just the class of card, it looks something like this, the second one. But as soon as you add this class flip here, then it reveals the stuff. So if I just let's just say add a flip class here and here as well and save this and I go back here, notice the emojis are displayed. Right now, the two emojis are just next to each other. So we need to randomize them up here as well. In order to randomize them, we are going to use a property from the Flexbox, which I'll discuss a bit later on. I do have a separate series on Flexbox as well. Yes, it's free and it's on YouTube. And uh, this is what the game right now we have. We got to do some of the stuff which is not really very, very big deal. It's pretty easy. So we're going to go ahead and add a click listener on this one. And we have to also track that user should be allowed only for two times. So for example, if he clicks on this one, then we will reveal that and we'll still wait. We don't unreveal it there. We're going to wait and somebody clicks on this. Okay, these two don't match. So we're going to flip them back again. 
Then if somebody clicks on here and then on here, that means both of them got matched. So yeah, we won the game, so we'll stop it right there. Potential is endless. You can modify this game and add more features and functionality however you like. But I think that's a brief introduction of how this game is gonna look like. And it's pretty fun to build actually. And it clears a whole lot of concept about even CSS as well as some of the JavaScript concept. So I hope you're gonna have so much of fun. Don't forget to download the attachment and uh, let's go ahead and build that up. The next video is gonna be a bit longer one, so stay tuned.